Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Nice to have you. If you're a new to, new subscriber, uh, welcome, We're glad to have you. Um, before I go outside, I wanted to stop by and just let you see how the experimental floating raft is doing. Um, I'm just doing lettuce right now, added the new high intensity light. Uh, the plants seem to really like it, they're growing like crazy. The other problem I got is I overplanted on tomatoes. So I've got a lot of tomato starters here, here, and here. And uh, they're definitely root bound. I've got to do something with them. So I have 20 um, five gallon fabric bags coming. And I'm going to trans, uh, transplant some of these plants into five gallon fabric uh, pots. <laughs> and uh, see if I can uh, grow extra tomatoes, I guess. The other thing is that we finally got, well, it's finally, but on the project of the NFT system, I told you I was waiting for some parts, and I got those parts. Uh, these are internal 90 degrees and T fittings for half inch pipe. And uh, uh, I like those better than the external ones. And so, uh, we're going to finish up the plumbing for the NFT today and uh, get that system up and running. It's definitely a colder day here in Central Oregon. I think we're in the 50s and we could get a minor close to freeze uh, tonight. So I'm not sure how I'm going to address that, but uh, we just do the best we can. And uh, I think I might turn on a heater in the greenhouse so we'll see we are over at the uh, end of the new nft system and here's where i got to put my water intakes so i'll be using a t-fitting here and two 90 degrees internal uh, couplers and uh, once i have that installed uh, then i can fill the tank with water and do a water test all right so we got these uh, installed now these are the 90s, that's the T-fitting, that's a 90. And all we have to do now is fill the tank down at the other end and uh, turn on the pump and let's see how she, uh, how, <laughs> how she rolls. All righty guys, at the tank here, we're gonna put water in it and then we're gonna turn it on and see if this thing works. Okay guys, it's time. I've got, uh, oh, let's see, quite a bit of water in there for now. Should be enough to do a test. I'm gonna plug this in and see what happens. Okay guys, I'm at the front end. As you saw, we're definitely getting water in all three pipes. We're looking at the flow right now. Wow, those all look really good. Very happy with that. Wow. And uh, looks like I need to tighten up a, a cap, a little bit of a drip. But uh, other than that, looking good. All right, I worked my way down to the other side, to the end down here, and uh, So far, so good. Wow, that's really cool. That whole system is working. So I guess now it's just time to fill the tank and add nutrients and start putting some plants in there. Very happy. Well, <laughs> got a smile on my face. So uh, that means I now got a new NFT system running. And uh, so uh, some of the things that I'm doing prior, I mean, now, is I'm actually ordered a backup pump for any of my systems. Um, also a backup uh, aerator, uh, just in case uh, one of my systems go down. And uh, just keep on learning. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of lessons learned. I don't know if I'm going to plan anything tonight because we got... This is going to be cold mor uh, cold morning tomorrow. And so I don't want to risk any plants. 
So uh, we'll probably fire up or start planting this and adding nutrients to it tomorrow. So I think that's probably our best decision. Well guys, it's getting time to uh, feed the fish. So uh, we uh, keep a lot of our preps in there, but we also keep the fish food. So uh, yeah, about every other day I give uh, these guys a good pinch of food. Uh, they're getting nice and big for the pond here. And uh, we'll give them a little pinch right now. That should do the trick for them for a couple of days. And uh, boy, it's definitely cooling down here today. So one of the last things I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, prepping. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta do it. Um, like today, today the crypto market's going nuts. Stocks are down, but I mean they're up and down all the time. But uh, let me put this away. But you know. This is an example of some of the things we prep up on. And uh, of course up here too. And we didn't do it all at once. Just do a little bit at a time. And uh, I know it's just uh, with uh, inflation going the way it is. With this market acting crazy. We could see hyperinflation. I know you guys don't want to hear about all the technicals and stuff. But. I don't know how many people I meet that just like, I just don't pay attention to that stuff or uh, just live for the now or live for the day. And then uh, if something goes down like uh, power supplies or water systems or oil and gas, uh, they're all s screaming. And it's like, we're trying to kind of help you guys from doing that, not by doing anything extreme, but just a little at a time. Um, put a little extra chicken in the freezer. Have a couple of extra cases of water. Buy a little rice. Buy some instant stuff. And, which I couldn't believe in Texas when they had their trouble, how many people didn't know how to heat water? So uh, buy a little Coleman stove and a couple of those little green propane things. Very affordable. Uh, learn how to make a rocket stove in your yard if you can run one. Um, if you have a trailer, um, in your yard, uh, you most likely make sure the propane's filled up so you could use the stoves in your RV. Um, yeah, uh, buy one of those little butane stoves, they're really affordable. And uh, yeah, just so you can heat up some water. And uh, you know, buy a couple of cases of cup of noodles if you have to. <laughs> you might get sick of cup of noodles, but you won't go hungry. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I'll say about that. You don't need to be lectured on it, but uh, um, uh, I can't say enough that the world is not going to be the same anymore and there's going to be some abrupt changes and uh, there may be some inconvenience time where we might ha uh, have to rotate our power a little bit and stuff like that because we're having some extreme water problems, especially down south. Uh, Keep your eye on Vegas area. <laughs> uh, the Lake Mead is just hurting something fierce. But anyway, guys, I just keep you a little stimulated. Keep you thinking about it. Uh, but you're better off not just thinking about it. You need to start taking action. And so, uh, um, yeah, um, we only want everybody to get through the little crises one at a you know one at a time and comfortable without life being a total emergency so guys anyway i'll leave it there please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it and uh, guys have a great day bye our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world Thanks.